What's up, my bridges? If you are new here, hello, my name is Brittany. Jamie Genevieve makes this hairstyle look so much cuter than I can. But today's video, I'm going to be transforming myself into Jamie Genevieve with all of her products from Vive. That's a lie. I could never because first of all, she's so much cooler than I am. <laughs> and she's Gorgina. I could never duplicate such gorgeousness of Jamie Genevieve. She's one of my favorite beauty influencers. Just, I've been following her for years at this point. And this is just a brand. I get hyped whenever they're launching something. Like they haven't launched a ton. They've done two launches so far, but I was so impressed with everything that I got from the first launch. So I have the eyeshadow palette. I have a highlighter, lipstick, lip liner, and then, and then Vive decided to come out with some blushes. So I got more highlighter, more lipstick, and I got two of the blushes and I'm gonna get into the package today. Oh, I'm so excited. I love blushes. I hope to see her come out with cream blushes, maybe in the future. I'm looking for my little hair clips because these little, these little dingies, like she rocks this so much better than me. <laughs> like, let's just, let's just get them out of the face. Okay. So we're just going to do a little chitty chat, get ready with me. And I'm just going to like do my makeup how I do it. But I know that she's done like transforming like her cousin into her. I think it was, it was like years ago, but I still remember that video. And I'm like, what a better way to transform myself into <laughs> one of my favorite people on the internet than using all of her products <laughs> or almost all of her products. So it's just chit chat, get ready with me. We're just going to bullshit. And I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts on the blushes because I did pick up two shades. I think I already said that, but the packaging is the exact same as her original stuff. I just, I love the aesthetic. It gives me like luxury vibes. It's still a high price point, but not as high price point as like luxury makeup, if that makes sense. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna first start with my eye drops because I keep forgetting to put my eye drops in before I start my videos. Okay, I already see you guys talking about, <laughs> hello to all the bridges in the live chat. I see everybody talking about Adept Cosmetics. Did anybody in the live chat get the new Adept palette? I was dancing on my IG story today because I'm like, I got it, I got it. <laughs> everybody was DMing me, they're like, how did you get it? I was quick. I had my phone going and my computer going. And I think I just lucked out, honestly, because I just happened to click, because I had everything like logged in ahead of time. I'm using my one size primer. I had everything like all logged in. I had my cart like almost ready to go. The only thing I needed to do was add in the new palette. And it was like, as soon as the clock hit one o'clock, I had just happened to like open up the palette, you know, like the link to get to the palette. And it was live and I'm like, boop, 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 boop type in my code Amy loves and I checked out like <laughs> happy hunger games, <laughs> but I did get it. So review will definitely be coming, but I know so many people were so sad. I know that there's going to be a restock though or a pre-order. So guys, don't be sad. It's only makeup. Who knows? Maybe I'll get it and it'll be trash. You never know. <laughs> I know that I love the plain Jane, but you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes not all palettes are created equally. I'm just throwing on my primer because I wanted to do my makeup because I feel like me and Jamie do our makeup kind of similar. She does like certain steps out of step than I do, but she uses like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter under her makeup and stuff like that. And I just feel like she just does the type of makeup that I like. She always wears like super like grungy, smoky. She always looks like a fucking smoke show. I can't even deal. Like she is so beautiful. So I'm like, all right, let's do this. Karen, it's not just makeup. <laughs> Did anybody get it? I don't think I've seen anybody get it yet. I'm using the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade number three. A lot of people always ask about like this compared to the new Auric. I prefer Charlotte Tilbury for underneath makeup because the Auric to me feels a little bit heavier. I'm gonna use the Auric a little bit later, but it does, it just, it feels like a tiny, tiny bit heavier. So I like the Charlotte Tilbury for underneath my makeup. It has a very similar effect and the shade is a little bit darker than the shade Morganite. So this is the shade number three. What are you guys saying? <laughs> I'm gonna write a letter to the manager. <laughs> 
Karen was devastated. <laughs> the one palette that Karen didn't get as soon as it dropped. <laughs> oh, Karen, we love you. Amanda says, on the Adept, they only had 2,000. Really don't get why people are so shocked that it sold out so quick. 2,000 palettes. I knew, I knew for a fact it was going to sell out. I was giving it at least five minutes though, but I don't even think it lasted like two minutes. It sold out so insanely fast. Look at that. Look at that Hollywood flawless filter. Do I look like a superstar yet? Do I look like Jamie Genevieve yet? I fucking wish. Okay, primer is done. I know it's excessive, but that's what I like to do. Let me use, I have it over here. I forgot to grab it. I'm going to use the Cafe Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and Foundation. I'm just going to use this as a concealer. I did a, like, trying new makeup. I used this for the first time. And I'm like, I didn't get the memo that this was supposed to be like a foundation. So I got a lighter shade. <laughs> I don't know guys, 2000 units for an indie brand at a random time seems like a lot. I think there was just so much hype over it, especially after the plain Jane. I don't know, like I wasn't, I wasn't that surprised. I think I was more surprised at how fast the Kaleidos palette sold out just because that was like, I mean, I can only speak for my time that was two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I'm like, I wasn't expecting it to sell out nearly as fast. I think that lasted like five minutes, but I don't know like how many, you know, how many units they actually had. But yeah, the adept one, I'm like, I know, especially when they said there's only 2000, I'm like, oh yeah, it's definitely going to sell out. So let's see if the same thing happens to me with this concealer. I'm just going to put it over my eyeball. I'm going to do it. I don't know why I didn't do my eyes first. I wasn't really thinking that one through, but it's all good. We're doing the face first. I feel like most people are going to want to see the blushes anyways. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Had everyone not that hyped up the plain chain, then 2000 would have lasted longer. But the Davina and Terra Moon could have 2000 units and be gone in a second. Yeah, that's right. Like, I'm not really surprised that it sold out, especially after the hype of the plain Jane. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Mm, I bought more highlighters and cards and woof the update. <laughs> the update was quick. Yes. Did you guys get the, the Kaleidos palette? It sold out in like three minutes. I figured a death would sell out. Just didn't think that quick. I, I wasn't expecting that quick either. But as soon as they were like, oh yeah, there's only 2,000. I'm like, oh yeah, it's definitely going to be happy Hunger Games. <laughs> I was going to talk about that on Monday, too, and I'm like, well, I guess we don't really need to now because it's sold the fuck out. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more. This concealer for me, I'm kind of surprised that it's like a foundation because it like thins out right there. None of my other concealers do that. It looked fine the last time I used it. I haven't worn this for like an extended period of time, but it doesn't have... I don't know. It doesn't have like the punchy coverage. Like I think my Dior and my Pat McGrath definitely perform quite a bit better. Let's see. I wasn't a fan of the adept owner's explanation on Instagram. I didn't see that. I've been painting at the bar all day, so I have not been active on socials whatsoever. Oh my God. Seeing paint going on the walls is so fucking exciting for me. <laughs> like I can't wait for my bar to open all right oh did I tell you guys I got my liquor license approved the other day it's getting closer I'm gonna do oh I usually don't draw this right on my face but fuck it let's try it out I'm using my makeup revolution fast based fast based <laughs> fast base stick foundation in the shade f13 for my cream bronze contour situation. What else do we want to talk about today besides the adept launch? <laughs> Agreed, I got my Club Nebula last week and I get to play with it as soon as I'm not sick anymore. Yes, Kit Kat! I'm here, how much did I miss? We didn't do anything Vive yet because I decided to do the face first because I know you guys trickle in as we get like into it. Normally I do the eyes first, but I figure most people are probably going to want to see the Vive product, so let's get all these out of the way. I thought about doing these ahead of time, but what's the fun in that? I figured you guys would have stuff to talk about, especially the Adept. That was like as soon as the live chat turned on, it was like, did you guys see the Adept launch? <laughs> I want to know if anybody saw me dancing on my Instagram. <laughs> I was just like... 
Then my mom messaged me. She's like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm like, mom, fuck you. <laughs> oh, let's see. <laughs> For all that, I can't dance. Thank you, Samantha. She said, congratulations. Oh my God. That was such a relief. Like I was so nervous because it's just a nerve wracking process. Like, especially putting so much money into something and you're like, okay, if I don't get a liquor license, I'm fucked. <laughs> but we got the liquor license. Oh, so exciting. Okay, I look crazy. Let's use, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna use the Fenty foundation. I was wearing this in, oh my God, what video was it? And so many people were complimenting me on my face and it was this foundation. So I'm using the Fenty 280. This is the hydrating foundation. It's a tad bit dark for me right now, but I can make it work. I think that might be why it looked better too. Like, I don't know why. My complexion always looks better when it's more tan. I probably should mix in something a little bit lighter, but whatever. YOLO. We're gonna make it work. But I think that this foundation, like when I first got it, I loved it. I think this looks better on camera though than it does in real life. It kind of looks, oh, excuse me. It kind of looks a little bit more heavy than I typically enjoy, but... I could still make it work. Like, I remember I wore it to the fair one year, like when it first came out and I liked it and it wore nice. It wears gracefully. So it's not like my favorite foundation, but it's still nice. I don't know if I'll buy it again. Oh my God. I almost bought the shade and illuminate foundation last night on the Tom Ford website. Oh, I didn't realize it was $150. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> A bar with no booze, that wouldn't quite work. I mean, I would make it work. It would just turn into like a restaurant though, if that was like, like if I couldn't get a liquor license. I mean, not that I had anything to worry about, but especially with like, you know, the current state of the world. But I also wasn't expecting to get it nearly as fast as I did. You see how much darker this is than my skin right now? <laughs> oh, we're not judging. We're not judging. This is like summer, summer foundation. I should probably put a little bit more concealer on like the center of my face just to, you know, bring it back a little bit more to reality. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, hi, John Vier. Oh, let's see. Love the Fenty. Beautiful. Yeah, it's like, it looks really flat. I think even in person, it's actually looking better, especially since my skin is, ugh, I, I almost jinx myself every single time. My skin is in a really good place right now. It's really happy with the products that I'm using. I'm not using like a shit ton of skincare. I still need to do a skincare video. Ugh, it just keeps getting away from me. Just new things keep showing up at my doorstep. And I'm like, oh, we got to use that. Why are my ears so red? They're so red today. We're just going to let them show. Still got a little foundation left, but we don't need any more. We're set. Set and ready to go. All right, foundation's done. I'm gonna add just a, a little more concealer just to lighten up. Just to lighten up like in this general area cause I'm looking very dark. <laughs> very, very dark. Oh, Heather, hey y'all. Usually when you do pre-order, does it really take that long? Oh, for Adept? I think when I ordered mine, cause I ordered my Plain Jane on the pre-order, it was right on time for when they said it would be there. So I can only speak from my experience, but yeah, they said it was, oh my God, I wish I could remember the date, but I was like, okay, it was like right around. It was, I think even a little bit early, but I don't love doing pre-orders, but it is nice, especially for like high demand products, you know, we love makeup. Skincare is just secondary. <laughs> I wish that was the case. Skincare makes my makeup so much better. So I'm a big fan of skincare, but I'm a big fan of like minimal but effective skincare. And I feel like that's where I'm at. Like I still do probably more steps than most people do, but I still am like, I, I, need, I need skincare in my life. Okay, I'm gonna get into, I'm not gonna set my under eyes. I'm gonna kind of let them hang out and see what happens with this new concealer. So I wanna try these blushes. They look so beautiful. I'm gonna first use the shade Piazza, because this one I feel like is going to be more of like a blushy bronzer situation. And I'm I'm actually kind of glad that I went a little bit darker with my complexion, because I feel like this is going to 
better suit me like summertime because it is quite a bit dark. But I'm going to see how buildable these are. So I'll probably end up doing Piazza on one side. And then I also have Cherub and I'll do that on the other side. And then I'll just kind of balance them out to make them look cohesive, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to do bronzer. I'm just going to do this because I feel like this is going to give me that bronze, like bronzy tone to my face. So this has the same packaging as the rest of her line. It is smaller than the highlighters, which these highlighters are fucking huge. So this is definitely more of a manageable size, in my opinion. They are, do I have the receipt right here? I don't think it's in US. So the blushes retail for, it says 19, 17 pounds. I think that equivalent, it's maybe like 25 bucks, 23 to 25 dollars US. The highlighters are 20 to 50 pounds. And then I also picked up a modern matte lipstick in the shade 90s. It's 1583 pounds. I, I at least think it's pounds. <laughs> I'm not positive. I'm horrible at the conversion. How many grams? All right, let's give you guys the lowdown. So we've got a sticker on the back. We know how I feel about stickers, but it looks like it belongs there, so I'm not mad. So this is the Sunset Blush. Net weight is five grams or 0.18 ounces. Vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, made in Italy. We love made in Italy, yes! 12 month shelf life, PETA approved, and recyclable. Well, damn! <laughs> So many things. All right, so I'm going to go because I watched Jamie's IG story on the Vive Instagram. And she just goes like that. <laughs> She's like, you don't need to use a lot. So I'm just going to gently, I'm using my refer number four. And I'm just going to gently, I pat my blushes first because I don't have any powder underneath. Oh, this is such a shade for me. Oh my God, these are like... <laughs> I will automatically say like, be careful because if you just go in and dig and dig and dig, you're gonna overdo it like crazy. So I'm just gonna push this up on my temple. See, I feel like this is a blush shade that I could get away with not wearing a bronzer, but I am seeing a little bit more pink than I was expecting. It wasn't on my brush because I definitely wiped my brush off before. Just gonna get a little bit more. I'm gonna bring it a little bit higher. So it's buildable for sure. The tone of it's a lot different than I was expecting. So I kind of like that. Like, I like how it looks on the face. Cause when I see it here, I'm like, ooh, I don't know if that's gonna be the best for me. I probably shouldn't have built it that much, but it's okay, we'll make it work. Let me get another brush. <laughs> Let me tone it down just a little bit. Cause I forgot I was gonna put cherub on the other side. Definitely pigmented. Definitely pigmented. Be careful. Okay, so that was the shade Piazza. Now let's go in with Cherub on the other side. And I'm gonna wipe off my brush in between just so I don't have anything on here. Same information's on the back, same packaging. I love this little detail right here. So pretty. So Cherub is like the perfect pink is how she explains it. I saw in her Valentine's Day tutorial, she used these blushes and I was like, I need them. They look, she can make anything look good, <laughs> but these two together, oh my God, they looked stunning. I think this will look even better when I do bronze. I'm glad that I didn't bronze first, but I think I could use a bronzer with this one. So I'm gonna do wipe off my brush, do the same thing, just tap, hella pigmented. Be careful, start in the back and bring it down. Here, let me do this. So I cannot like, I'm trying to like look 20 different ways. Beautiful pink blush. I mean, it's a blush. They're not anything like, it's a blush. Like, honestly, I feel like blush for brands, it's like, how do you fuck up a blush? <laughs> Has anybody honestly tried like a really bad blush? I, I know I have. Because I feel like the only way to really fuck up a blush, in my opinion, is if it's like a chalky formula. I love that shade. That's so pretty. I was not expecting to like that as much as I do. Oh my gosh. How pretty. Mmm. So 
beautiful. I just I need this blush like now. <laughs> now I want to take, okay, so we've got cherub on this side, piazza on this side. I think especially like when I'm more tan and when I bronze and everything, it'll look even better. I think I overdid it though. Like this, I feel like is a good amount, very pigmented. It looks like I haven't even used it. So again, be very careful. <laughs> when you're using these. So I'm just gonna go in again with Cherub and I'm gonna top it off on Piazza. Oh my God. This is gonna give like a burnt pink. I'm telling you, watch Jamie's Valentine's Day tutorial and ugh, it just looks so good on her. The pink is taking over. <laughs> <laughs> I love chair. I love like this. This is a little too much, but this, this is good. I really enjoy that. But if you're heavy handed, don't be. <laughs> That's the only thing I will recommend is don't be heavy handed with these because they're very, very pigmented. And then I'll give you guys like finger swatches after too, if you guys want to see that. Just so you can see them side by side. I definitely like layering Piazza first rather than putting Piazza on top. If I were to pick between the two, I was expecting to like Piazza more, but I think I like Cherub more because I really, I honestly don't really have that many pinks in my collection either. So I'm going to leave the blush there for now. I want to do some bronzer. Like we need some bronze. <laughs> so I'm going to take, let's see. I've been reaching for this one a lot. The Samantha, Samantha March and Ofra. I'm gonna use this with, you know, I'm gonna use the Scott Barnes. The Scott Barnes 65. I like never use this. And I'm just gonna bronze up a little bit more. Ooh, that sounds intense. <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. Pretty. What do you guys think? What refer brush? That was the refer number four that I used for blush. Oh my God. My stomach just rumbled. What do you guys think? Cast your votes. Piazza or Cherub? I know Charlotte Holdcroft did a video as well. I don't know. I don't know what shades she got. I was trying not to watch it until I tried these. So I'll probably watch it after that because Charlotte is also another one of my faves. She's so funny. She's so funny and cheeky. <laughs> I love when she says that. And then she says, love of my life. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I love both shades. The first one is pretty unique. I do feel that way. I feel that um, Piazza is a more unique shade. I, f I feel like they're both unique for my collection though. I always go for like rusty tones. That's where I'm like, I'm very into these. I'm very into it. And I really like the packaging. It's not like, it's like, it's cardboard, it's lightweight, but it looks, I think more expensive than like, when you look at this, cause it has this like little emblem on here. Like it just, it looks so chic. It looks so aesthetically pleasing. Like I would love it if my entire collection looked like this. I just, I really like the aesthetic that Jamie has with her brand. I'm into it so far. So I feel like these are, it's hard to say if these are like matte because they don't really look matte. You know what I mean? They look very skin-like. I really like the finish. It just looks like it melts into the skin. I really enjoy this finish. I think it's pretty. Mm. She got Pesca, Sorbet, and Piazza. So she has, I think, yeah, two other shades that I don't have. So if you want to see more shades, I think Charlotte is a little bit deeper than I am. But she might be like equivalent to what I have going on right now. But I feel like from for the most part, she is a little bit more tan than I am. So let's move on to the highlighter. So I had Holy Chic already, but I always felt that this one was a little bit too dark for me when I'm more fair, but since I have a deeper foundation on, this is what it looks like. These are beautiful, beautiful. I would like to see, this is just an honest like feedback for me being a consumer. I pick these up from Jamie's, like the brand's website. I know that these are available on Cult Beauty. I have both linked down below, 
but I do wish that they did a little bit better on the packaging because you get like this, it's a really thin box, but you get this like thin layer of tissue paper and that's it. And everything's basically just chilling in here. So when I got my first highlighter, which I emailed them, but I wasn't like in dire need of a new one because it's still in here, but it is broken. Nothing came broken this time, but it's like, I feel like there needs to be an improvement on the packaging end. So I also picked up the shade Bijou. Oh my God, these look so pretty. Look at, look at. So I think for like this skin tone right now, Fenty 280, this will probably be a little bit light, but I'm gonna try to use both anyways, just so you could see both. I think for the shade that I am right this second, Holy Chic probably will be a little bit better, but for like my Gucci, the 220N, I think Bijou is going to be better. So the highlighters, these are the Nova Glow highlighters. They're vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, made in Italy. 12 grams or 0.42 ounces, 12 month shelf life, recyclable and PETA approved. Love it. You guys are loving the finish. Yes. Not really into pinky lately. I usually am not at all, but this like I'm into like this for Valentine's day would have been off the chain. Yes. All right. I'm going to try this one first. Bijou. So I'm using my Scott Barnes, the travel highlighter brush. This is like current favorite status. I love it. Dab that off. And I, I have textured skin. That's like a disclaimer in every video. I do have more textured skin. So blinding highlights on me usually do emphasize the texture. I feel like for this formula and how like beaming it is though, it doesn't accentuate texture as bad as other ones do. I feel like this gives like a wet look to the skin. And this is what... I prefer, I was going to put, um, Auric on, but I'm like, I don't feel like I need to. And I don't think that this is too deep. I think that this would work. I think Holy Chic might go a little bit better. So let me try Holy Chic on the other side, just so you guys could see what this one looks like. It's just a little bit deeper and a little bit more, I would say gold, but I don't know. It's almost like, do you need both? I don't know if I need both of these because... They look very similar on, on my skin tone right now. Oh my God, I love the finish on these. They look so pretty. Hair is looking fresh, yes. I'm like, Jamie pulls this look off so much better than I do. <laughs> I need to cut my bangs. All right, so I feel like, okay, so you got Holy Chic, Bijou. I think Bijou, it does have a little bit of a lighter tone to it. Do I think that I needed both of these? At this skin tone, not really. I do think that Holy Chic fits probably better. Yeah, it, it looks like it's more like natural. Whereas Bijou, looking at it in the mirror, like you could definitely see like where I applied it. You know what I mean? But I feel like, like I'm glad I have both <laughs> to go with my different skin tones throughout the year because I do get very tan. Let me spray my face. Actually, you know what? Where's my... Where's my hourglass spray? Where the fuck is my hourglass spray? This could be a big problem. Hold on. Where, where is it? Oh, it's literally right in front of me. <laughs> I think they look the same because of the blush shade underneath. They probably, yeah, that probably is. Like, I think I notice it more in person where I'm like, I do notice it like Bijou a little bit. It looks a little bit brighter just because it is, because it's lighter. This one I feel like is more natural but it's still hella blinding. So I'm into it. I like them both. I'm glad that I have both, but I know that I'll like to have the Bijou shade for when I'm like Gucci 220N. That's what I know because I do think that Holy Chic is just a tad bit too dark. Oh, look at, look at the skin. Look at the fucking skin. This, this whole cheek moment is giving it to me. I love like that blush finish though. That blush finish though is so nice. <laughs> so, so nice. So I just got the highlighter because I wanted it. Now, now let's move on. I'll do the lips now. I have one shade in the lip liner. These aren't my favorite lip liners, but they're hella pigmented. This is the shade Rumor. I personally prefer lip liners that are, like these are the sharpener ones, but I like the ones that are more like a pencil. 
These kind of remind me of like the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude or almost like color pop. How that has like, it's a sharpener, but it's not like a pencil. There's a difference. It's not, uh, there's like a certain texture that I'm trying to think of. So I prefer something that looks like, like this, how it actually looks like it could be a pencil. So this is the Victoria Beckham. I also really like MAC lip liners and also Wayne Goss. I like them because it's almost like they build on top of each other. Lip liners like this, I feel like are just more like creamy. They still stay, like they still serve their purpose, but I really like those pencil ones because it'll give me more dimension to my lip. So it's like, I had lip fillers, but I really didn't. <laughs> That's the effect that the pencil tips give me. So I'm just gonna apply rumor very lightly because I have a lighter lipstick. Entertain yourselves. <laughs> Let's see, the fact that you haven't set, had to set anything, right? Looks so pretty. And that's what I feel that Jamie does so beautifully. I think that's where her line really appealed to me because I love her makeup aesthetic. I love the way that she does her makeup. I love how glowy, it, like this, this is Jamie Genevieve. She just always looks so youthful, radiant, glowy. Everything. Everything. The lips is always an awkward moment in the live. Sorry, guys. And I'm actually going to fill in my lips a little bit. One thing that Jamie always does, she'll fill in her lips and just say YOLO and wear that. And she'll just like, <laughs> she'll just do that. I don't ever do that. I always wear something else. Oh, it are. I love this shade though. I will say though, I think this is one of my favorites as far as like having the creamier formula because it does have a little bit of tug there. So it feels like it's gonna be a little bit more long lasting. I really enjoy this lip liner. So the shade that I picked up was 90s. I already had the shade Power Suit. I'll give you guys a swatch of that. Oh, I forgot to swatch the the what you call it. Reagan, you're spamming the hell out of our comments right now. Calm down over there. <laughs> so this is the shade 90s. It's like nine T's. <laughs> I love it. So I'm just going to slap this on. And this is just going to give us a 90s lip. For sure. I can't wait. I hope she comes out with lip glosses. Like this is just a brand. I'm always, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I want all of it. The products are beautiful. They're just, they're very up my alley. I love the packaging. So let me swatch nine T's for you. Beautiful. Oh shit, Deandra's here, Katie Marie is here. What's up, Bridges? <laughs> All right, and then the shade Power Suit. I love this one too. It's like, to me, this is like a unique color for my collection. Very comfortable formula. It's, mm, it's, it's so nice. Like this feels like a high-end luxury lipstick, which it should because it's up there in price, but I think it, it looks even more expensive than it is. I can't remember the exact price US wise. They retail for, I said it earlier and I forget already, 1583 pounds. Not sure what that converts to, but mm, 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 mm. this lip, yes. This with a Tower 28 Milky Shine on Lip Jelly. Let's do it. Let's use the shit. Let's use, let's use oat. I love these lip glosses. They're so good. Yes. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Oh my god, speaking of Deandra and Davina Cosmetics, my sugar drop shipped out today. Or last night, technically. Mmm! Look. Look at that fucking lip. Look, that is a nude lip. Yes! I knew that she would kill it with the nude lips. Okay, let's move on to the eyeballs. This palette is so beautiful. This quality... I don't think I ever told you guys the info on the palette. So you've got... Oh, the Essential Palette net weight is 10 times 3.10 grams. Or you get 10 times... 0.11 ounces. So there's 10 shades. Vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, made in Italy, 12-month shelf life, recyclable, PETA approved. It's all the same shit on all the packaging. But oh, the fucking color story. Bitch, fuck me up. I love this color story. This is like a perfect go-to, day-to-day, grungy, nude. Yes. Everything. Every damn thing. This is another thing. It's like, it's Jamie Genevieve in an eyeshadow palette. And I live for that. Live for it. Okay. Let me take. Gotta wipe off my brushes. Let's see what you guys are saying. Oh, <laughs> Karen coming through. I'm using all the Vive products. About $22. That's not bad. That's not bad for like a high-end lipstick. Mm. Bronze to the gods, Brit. I want to tan. <laughs> Girl, I can't fucking wait to go on a vacation. It's just a deeper foundation. <laughs> and it's it's the whole blush situation. That's exactly what it is. All right. So I want to do, I'm going to save this shade. I'm going to use that on my brows today, I think. So I want to do, I love this shade right here. Cozy. Oh my God. I forgot. I still forgot to swatch the blushes. Don't let me forget to swatch the damn blushes. I'm not going to prime my eyes because I don't feel like I need to anyways. We're good. Let's start with... Ciao. This one's speaking to me. Let's do this one first. I feel like these eyeshadows are one of my favorite matte formulas that I've tried. The metallics are a little different, but I love the finish that they have. They kind of give me the vibe of almost like, it's so weird because they remind me a lot of the Auric those like the eye topper thingies i can't even think of what they're called the smoke reflex the press shadow that's on the top it kind of reminds me of those so i'm still taking chow and i love i just don't feel like i have to work that hard i'm just going very light-handed because these are hella fucking pigmented guys hella pigmented you just barely need to tap your brush in the pan place it where you need it and it's like, it just does the work for you. I'm using my Sonia G, the Worker Pro. I kind of wish I went in with a deeper shade first, but whatever will make it work. I'll end up going, I think, back in with that shade there. Let me take my... I really need to figure out, like, how do you guys like to store your brushes? I need to figure out a new brush storage. Because this... Or I just need to move it closer to me. That might work too. I just, I don't like how these are right now. Let me take, there it is. My refer number two. That's what I'm looking for. Jessica! Jessica, you are always fucking coming through with the super chats, girl. You do not have to send super chats. But I appreciate you. Thank you. Girl, your skin is looking bomb. Thanks, boo. Oh my gosh. You do not need to send super chats. How would you compare these two Supreme Nudes? Supreme Nudes speaks to me with their metallics. I feel like this is a very different, um, it's a, it's very different from Supreme Nudes in my opinion. I'm going to take Delicious. I think that this is almost like a little bit of grungier, but then again, I feel like you could still probably get similar looks with Supreme Nudes. But my favorite shades in that palette are like the green, the green metallic, and the one copper shade that I always swatch for you guys. Those are at all similar. Like the textures of the metallics are totally different. I feel like these mattes are a little softer and I think even easier to manipulate and work with than the Artist Couture. 
that's what I, I like off, because I haven't used the Artist Couture in a minute, but just off of like what I remember, I do feel like these are just easy. Like these give me almost like Makeup Geek or, um, oh my God, I'm drawing such a blank right now. Wow, what's my other favorite freaking eyeshadow? Makeup makeup geek's the one that comes to mind like immediately. Oh my god, there's one. I'm drawing such a blank. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be like, um, Brittany, how do you forget like what your favorite? <laughs> wow, why am I drawing such a blank? Ma makeup geek's the main one, but there's another formula that I'm like, wow, it reminds it's not that it reminds me of I, maybe Natasha Denona, but I think that these are even easier than Natasha Denona because they're not as, they're not creamy. Like, I feel like Natasha has like a certain amount of like grip to them. Is that the word that I'm looking for? Oh my God. There's another brand that I'm thinking of though. And I'm like, how am I forgetting the mattes that I fucking love right now? I don't understand myself. Guys, it'll come to me. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just taking that shade Chow again and just blending that. This is what I love about these. It's like the effortless blend that I can get on this eyeball. Mm, why doesn't my brain automatically expect a ch <laughs> oh, I know everybody. Oh, Sydney Grace. <laughs> yup. I told you, you guys would be able to come through. Yes. They makeup geek and Sydney Grace are my favorites. This, this formula for mattes would be up there for sure because they're pigmented. They're easy to work with. Oh my God. Thank you guys for coming through on that. <laughs> Sydney Gray. <laughs> I'm a fucking mess. All right. I need to take some good night, which is just the black shade, which super duper pigmented, super pigmented. I'm just going to place it there for now. And I'm also getting no fallout from any of these. I honestly think I would closely compare these to Makeup Geek, except I think these might be even a little bit soft. Like these are very, very soft, but I think if I were to compare them to one, it would be Makeup Geek, which is a huge compliment considering how much I fucking love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So I'm just focusing that right there. Now I'm gonna take my Refer 14 and I wanna take the shade Cozy. I just, I love this shade here. And then I'm just going to blend it a little bit right there. I just want to use like a bunch of shades in here. That's, that's what's happening at this present moment. Cozy. Same thing on this side. But it's like these undertones are so just, oh, they're so grungy and glorious. That's my favorite thing about this palette is these fucking, like, just look at this blend, the blend, the blend, the grunginess. It almost would remind me of if Melt Cosmetics actually worked for me. Like, you know, when I could, I always say that I could just look at a palette and know it's Melt. I feel like I get that sort of vibe with this. Like, it's just, the blend is just so effortless. It just is. I'm taking the shade Delicious. I just want to bring this up just a little bit more. Just a wee bit more. And then I'm going to go back in chow because I like my shadows to be high just because of how my eyes are shaped. Yes. Yes, bitch. Yes. All right. Back in chow. Mm, I love this. Love it. I could, I think I could say this is one of my favorite palettes and colors like you know how sometimes you're like okay I love the palette but there's something I would change about it I would not change anything about this palette I think it's just it's pure perfection yes let me take a little bit more of good night see this is why I love these refer brushes the 14 and 13 because it's like I could just go and do everything with it or a damn thing and I'm just gonna blow this out not gonna go too crazy because I gotta do the lower lash line just trying to deepen up that black just a wee bit more. Oh, fucking stunning. Stunning. Flawless. I woke up like this. 
I'm mm, 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 mm. Okay, we're done. We're done with that. All right, now, which I'm debating between carrot or that one. <laughs> they? Tay? Tay? I don't know. Or glimmer. And I did mention in when I first reviewed this, I did use this as a face highlight as well. That's another thing I really like about this. And I feel like I could use one of these two shades as a bronzer. I feel like I could. I was going to do that today, but I forgot. I'd probably mix them, but I would say be very careful because of how pigmented they are. <laughs> so I may not want to do that, but if I needed to, I think this would be a palette too that I would travel with because this just has everything that I would want in like a basic ass palette. Like basic neutral. Mm, love that. All right. What is it? Oh, is it Thea? Thea? Karen! <laughs> Sounds like Karen! <laughs> Especially when I say it like that. <laughs> Karen! <laughs> oh, Karen. All right, I'm going to do this little cut crease moment. I haven't done this in a minute. I don't think I've ever done this in a live. Oh, that little trick. I'm going to take my MAC 242. I almost played myself right there. I cannot cut the eyelid with that ESMW23. It's too big. So I just want to cut this. That's good. I don't want to cut it too far because I don't want to lose that corally shade. Color story wise, this kind of reminds me of, uh, is it soft glam? It's like soft glam mixed with sultry. I think I only think of sultry because of that coral shade. <laughs> that was my Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas eye base. All right, what'd you guys say? Carrot, carrot. Okay, carrot. Mmm. Carrot, which is that one? Carrot. All right, let me take my Esom, my W21. And this is a chunkier formula. So this, I could potentially get fallout. So I might end up switching. I'm going to do it with my finger because it is a little bit more chunky. But it's going to have, I'll do a close up for you guys so you could see what the, like the texture is. This is where I say it reminds me of those smoke reflex from Auric because it has that like slight glitteriness to it. But it's not too much. It's a very like wearable glitter, I would say. But it's not a glitter. It's like a shimmer. Maybe like a cross between a glitter and a shimmer. It's it's a very unique formula for this one, I think. But it is just a little chunky when you pick it up. So I think this will probably work best on like a glitter glue or since this base is wet, like it'll adhere to it nicely. But I'll give you guys a swatch of it after just so you guys could see. And don't let me forget to swatch the, the blushes for you guys. <laughs> I could totally see myself just totally forgetting. How many times can I say totally in one sentence? All right, let me give you guys a little close up of what we got working with. Look at the texture of that shadow. They're just so good. And look at the blend. Effortless. Mm. And the juicy lip, we love that for me. Yeah, so a glit, yeah, maybe like a glimmer. That'd be probably the best way to, yeah, a glimmer. We'll call it a glimmer. It's very unique, I, at least for my collection. I don't have, I don't have a lot in my collection that would resemble that at all. I'm gonna take a mixture of chaos, or not chaos, chow and cozy. I'm using that, oh my God, Chico Hodo Z11. This is like my finisher type brush. I'm just mixing the two together just to give it a little bit more. Yes. It just gave me like a nice orange moment there. Like that. A little bit more on this side now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to end up deepening up that black again. But we're going to jump to the lower lash line. So I'm going to take Good Night. Push that. 
If you guys missed my brush recommendations videos and you guys could tolerate my live streams for any amount of time, this is where I think refer eye brushes come in so clutch because I could use them for so many different things. I love the shapes of these brushes. And but guys, keep in mind, I have no fallout on my face for how intense these eyeshadows are. I would expect these to be like all over my fucking face. Oh my God, Cruella, I'm so fucking excited. Ugh, I damn near lost my shit when I saw that on Instagram. I'm like, oh, Disney coming through. And Emma Stone, yes. Such a good casting for that. I cannot wait to see it. I'm gonna take Delicious with my mini booster from Sonya G. And I'm just gonna drag this. And this is how I set my under eyes. <laughs> a little bit more delicious on this side. And then I'll focus on the outer corner blend momentarily. This is just my typical application, guys. I feel like if you watch on a regular, you know. If you know, you know. At least if I do my, you know my eyes after my face. Usually I do my eyes first. It's just a preference thing. Where did my refer 14? I'm going to take some cozy and chow. I like a really smoked out lower lash line as well. Love it. Especially because it covers up my under eye wrinkles. Boom. I would love it if I didn't keep poking myself in the eye with the brush though. Adding a little bit more black. And then I'm just gonna kind of round this out over here. Yes. Good night. What's today? Thursday. Anybody got plans for the weekend? Cheers to the freaking weekend. Oh my god, I fucking love this palette. I can't. <laughs> I need to smoke that shit out cuz bags. For real. Can relate. Oh, excuse me. I keep like getting burpy. So what do you guys think? What do we think so far? Let me do my inner corner. Where's my Wayne Goss number five? Wing Goss number five, Wing Goss, where are you? See, it's like, I use these brushes all the time. How do I always misplace them? I'm gonna take Glimmer, throw this on inner corner. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. Oh my God, I saw this like little quote unquote hack on TikTok. I think it was actually Nikki Tutorials that posted it. Or no, it was uh, Lipstick Nick. She was showing how, I think it was something that if she was like reacting to it, people were dragging the inner corner highlight like up their socket. It looks like trash on me. I'm like, that's not a thing for me. I, it just doesn't work for me. At least I don't, I don't like how it looks. I think it could work, but I don't love it. Let's throw this underneath here. And this is that shade that I used initially for a face highlight. I actually need to swatch. I need to swatch this next to Bijou face highlighter because it's like, did I really need Bijou if I had this in here? You know? All right, now brows. I'm going to take my, what is it? I was looking at the chat. Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. I'm going to use the shade Lava Rock. This might not be the best match, but I want to try using it for my brows. All right, let's give it a whirl. This might not match. But it looks like a cool tone brown. And I could usually make cool tone browns work. Oh my god, I really like how, because I did my last video, I was using the new Dior body heat, or not Dior, Tom Ford. The Tom Ford quad. I loved how that looked on my eyebrows. I'm like, I might use that all the time now for my brows. Keep that handy. Oh yeah, this would work. It's not like a perfect match for me, but she close enough. But I thought that the 
with that Tom Ford because the formula it had like a a slight like shimmer to it. It looked really flattering on my eyebrows. And then we're, people were saying that there's another brand that they do that. I forget who the hell it is. They put like, or it was Kat Von D. Kat Von D, the brow powder, has like sparkle in it and it's supposed to be more flattering. So I'm like, shit, I might just start using my Tom Ford. An $88 brow palette. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the shade works. It's a little dark, but whatever. If I was in a pinch and I didn't want to bring like 8,000 different things. Ashley, we talked about that earlier. She asked about the Adept palette. Did anybody get it? <laughs> oh, that was like what we opened up the video talking about. I got it. I can't believe I got it. But yeah, it was totally just luck. How do you guys feel about the Glaminatrix palette? That's what, like 95 bucks? Oh my god, but the swatches look so pretty. Alright, there's one brow done. This one's usually faster. Boom. So how I typically do my brows, I usually just do a line underneath. Shaping the whole brow. And then I'll do pretty much the same thing on the top, but not as harsh. And then I don't obviously start like all the way in this in the beginning. I'll start basically like where the brow gets thick, right here. And then I'll create my little arch. Boom. This is the good brow most of the time. Sometimes it plays me. I usually like to do this brow first because it's the good brow. I think today it's going to play me though a little bit. Hold on. Don't play me today, brow. Don't do it. Look at me talking shit to my eyebrow right now. <laughs> Aren't you glad you guys signed up for this? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I like it better when I do this brow first. I don't know why. It always comes out looking better. I don't know why I started with the other one today first, but whatever will make it work. Fake it till you make it, baby. Mmm. It's 95. Oh, Australian shit. So it's even more US, right? <gasps> Fuck. So what do we think? Karen, are you going to get it? <laughs> I might. Ooh, that's expensive. Because I'm sure shipping's going to be expensive, too. Oh, my God. I wanted to get... Oh, there's this one company. They do vanity organizers. They they basically design their drawers to fit perfectly with the Alex drawers. What the hell is the name of the brand? Vanity Collections. They're based out of Australia. I was going to buy so many of their things because they're, like, customizable. Like, I've seen other brands that they do the Alex drawer inserts. But these ones, you could actually like customize it because the dividers kind of remove and stuff. So I was like, oh, fuck me up. Yes, I want those. I like added everything to the cart and then the shipping was like $100. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, <laughs> that's going to be a no for me, dog. I don't love how this brow came out today, but they're fine. Like we don't need to sit here all fucking day to figure out the brow situation, right? I want to see Adept versus the Menagerie palette. Ooh, tea. Mmm. It's about $15 for shipping. That's not terrible. Like, me a couple years ago would have been like, nope, not fucking buy. <laughs> I used to be such a bitch when it came to, oh my god, paying for shipping. Brittany used to never pay for shipping, ever. If I had to pay for shipping, that was a deal breaker back in the day. Alright, what lashes do I want to use today? I need something, I think... I think I'm going to wear, do I want to wear these? Miami. These might be a little much, but fuck it. Let's do it. These are the Lily Lashes in Miami. I really, I'm so glad that I got these during the Ulta. They had like, I don't remember if it was 21 Days of Beauty or if they just had like a sale going on these. I got these for like half off. These lashes are fucking bomb. Bomb. My favorite ones are NYC though. These ones, oh, maybe I'll wear these. No, I already got the Miamis out. We'll wear Miamis. But NYCs, those are like my favorite lashes. So nice. It's just favorite lashes from Lily Lashes. We'll say that. But these are usually like 
$30. Let's see. Brit, it's cheaper. Oh, in US dollars than Australian dollars. Oh, I thought it was more. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, let's see. I mean, have you guys seen the Ikea shipping to the US? Oh my God, I know. Oh man. I wish I had an Ikea near me. I'm still, I'm dying to redo my room. Dying for it. But I'm like, I don't know what to get. I don't know what I want. I can't make up my damn mind. Because it's like, I like the Alex drawers for storage. And I feel like, like, I really like how the pack system looks. That's actually what Jamie Genevieve has. Like, her setup is exactly what I would want. But it would make my collection look so tiny. Because I don't, like, I have a lot of makeup. But in that setup, it would look the tiniest of all. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't need something that big. I don't know. Like, I don't mind what I had. Like, when I had, like, the... I, I definitely need to change up what's happening up here. But I didn't mind having that, like, seating area behind me. Because I thought that was cute with, like, all the pillows and shit. I need to paint the wall. I just... I gotta update everything. We gotta do it. It's gotta be more of my vibe. I need to vibe with it better, I think. Okay, how are we looking? Everything looking good still? What do we think? What, 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 what's what been like your guys' favorite thing with this video? While I'm waiting for those to, to dry, I'm going to swatch these blushes for you guys before I forget because <laughs> it's going to happen. So this is the shade Piazza. Oh, it's so pretty. Like this is just, this is just my type of blush. It totally is. They're super soft. Mm. And then I also have the shade Cherub. The perfect peach or pink perfect pink on my middle finger that's cherub boom does that do anything for you guys <laughs> i'm like i feel like you got like the full effect on the cheeks i really like it's got like a satin finish to them and i really really like that i think it's very flattering and just very youthful you know i'm really i'm really into those i could see myself using these a shit ton so stay tuned for future videos. <laughs> but that was like the main attraction for today. Lips and the eyes. Yes. Should I return my cream makeup compact that came today that has lumps in it? I mean, I would. <laughs> if it's got lumps, hell yeah. I mean, especially, is it like something or is it just like, because sometimes when I see like lumps, sometimes it's just like uh, air pockets sometimes. Let me swatch. Where do I want to swatch this? I'm going to do a glimmer. This is from the eyeshadow palette. I want to swatch this next to the Bijou highlighter. Because I feel like these are going to be so similar. I mean, the texture is slightly different. Actually, Bijou is a little bit lighter. Boom. So we've got Bijou. And then this is Glimmer from the eyeshadow palette. Let me do Holy Chic. Because I feel like Glimmer is like the middleman between these two highlighters. <laughs> so it's like if you're in between shades, you might be okay with just... Here, let's throw this over here. Oh, that was tragic. Hopefully you guys could see it. It's definitely more gold and deeper. So yeah, it's like... The shade in the in the eyeshadow palette is a perfect like in the middle of these two. <laughs> well, shit, I'm good with that. I feel like the texture of the eyeshadow is a little bit more like it is a little bit different. It's probably a little bit glitterier, but I mean, you probably would not be able to notice. So that was this shade, this shade right here, beautiful. Let's see. <laughs> Fuck blush too. <laughs> Monica, get out of here. We love blush. Karen. <laughs> All right, let me throw these lashes on really quick. Oh, shit. Never a dull moment in the live chat. All right, ready? These might be over the top, but. It's all good. Oh my god, I didn't even put mascara on. It's alright. 
It's all good. What are your guys' favorite lashes? Like, do you wear eyelashes? I definitely need, like, a wing with this. Well, I shouldn't say I need it. It'd probably be preferred, but I don't feel like doing that right now. They work. Definitely more intense, but for being super intense lashes, I feel like these are easy for me to put on. And I'm not the best at applying lashes. I mean, clearly, if you watch my videos, you always see the struggle. Like, my lash is always falling off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you guys in the comments are killing me we all know how i felt about that situation what's today thursday i'm trying to think when i'll be back i was thinking about doing a live tomorrow morning possibly i get nervous posting morning lives or scheduling morning lives because I'm always afraid I'm going to oversleep because I always stay up so late. And I've slept through a live before. <laughs> and I don't want to do that to you guys again. Would you guys like, okay, is it helpful when I like post the video ahead of time or, or not? Nah? Like, do you get notification when I schedule the live or is it you get the notification when I actually go live? Because that's where I'm like, if I just get up in the morning, I would much rather do a live in the morning so I'm not like wasting my makeup. <laughs> like right now, it's like, this looks beautiful and it's just going to come off. I'm going to go to bed. You know? Oh, this is a fucking look. Do I look like Jamie Genevieve, guys? Look at the lashes. They're falling off. <laughs> I told you, it's always the inner corner. But look, her products are fucking bomb. I love them. I love the aesthetic. I love the quality. The price point's not bad. The shipping has been on point the past two times that I've ordered from hers. I mean, they're available at Cult Beauty if you don't love ordering straight from the brand, which to me, that doesn't matter at all. But I think her products are bomb. High quality and yes. I want to learn how to apply lashes. Just have some, but don't. I want to fuck up my eye look. <laughs> Girl, clear glue. Clear glue will be your best friend. I never used to use black glue until I got like comfortably good at, or I don't even want to say good, until I got comfortable at doing false lashes. Just because if it's clear glue, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fuck anything up. Just use clear glue. You'll be set. What do we think? Do these look crazy? It's the inner corner. I need to start, I think, trimming these more. But guys, I hope I look like Jamie Genevieve. I mean, who wouldn't want to look like Jamie Genevieve? Her, her look comes out looking, her like bangs are so much cuter, but whatever. You guys get the point. I tried turning myself into Jamie Genevieve using Vive products. Oh wait, I need a, hold on. Hold on, this would not be a Jamie Genevieve look without some fucking hoop earrings. They wouldn't, we just can't do it. I always feel like she just does like messy, grungy, everything so good. Oh, I can't. Can you guys tell I have a serious girl crush on Jamie Genevieve? <laughs> there we go. Are we good? Are we Jamie yet? Push this up. Boom. What do we think? How did I do? Her products are fucking bomb. I love them. Highly recommend. If you are looking for things within this collection, I honestly love everything. I have not found anything that I don't like. If I were to pick a favorite though, it's the palette. This palette is everything. It's beautiful. And my lash is falling off. I could feel it. So if I were to recommend anything, I would say this, the lipsticks, I mean, even the blushes, the blushes are so pretty. <laughs> I really, really like the finish on these, but at the end of the day, it's like, they're blushes. You know, it's not anything you need to like run out and buy right now. They're blushes. So if you're in the market for a blush, cool. If not, cool. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. Hold on. I got one more step. We got to do eyeliner, Precious Opal from Wayne. Mr. Wayne Goss, come through Wayne. 
with the eyeliners. So tell me, what was your guys' favorite product that I used today? Are you guys into it? Are you not? Do you like the aesthetic? Tell me your guys' feelings on the brand because I'm a big fan. And I'm a big fan especially because it just su suits my makeup aesthetic, especially like the eyes. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yes, queen! I need an accent. Oh my god, I'll fucking butcher that. <laughs> I can't even try. Can't do it. And I also don't want to offend anybody. But yeah, she's like one of those people. I could just I could just listen to her talk all day. I could. 100%. Boom. Karen, you tried it. <laughs> Karen, we missed you in the live chats. My hair is so cute like that. I think it would be really cute if I just had these cut. If I trim these a little bit, what do you guys think? Should I should I do it? Trim them? I just like it because it looks like undone, but grungy, glamorous. I could still slay the day. I'm into it. Let's see. I'm seeing what you guys are liking from the collection. Um, everything. <laughs> Lily says the eyeshadow palette looks beautiful. I I second that. <laughs> Pretty beef. <laughs> I've been loving the look of 90. Yeah, that's like a perf. Like, this is a really good nude for me, especially. Yes. Love it. <laughs> Thank you. Compliments of inspiration from Jamie. <laughs> oh, I am lonely in a needy bitch tonight. Someone please say hello to me. Lisa! <laughs> Hi, Lisa! <laughs> I know, Karen, I miss you. <laughs> Brit wore hoops so now I need to wear hoops <laughs> they just they're a nice little accessory I love hoops the bigger the hoop the bigger the very 90s definitely <laughs> oh my god you guys crack me up I feel like we have a signature Luke it's so pretty I love it Everything looks bomb, but the, but the limo, limo, I feel like that's a typo. <laughs> definitely the eyeshadow, oh, lip, okay, definitely the lip and the eyeshadow. <laughs> Love the lip. Love it. Lisa, you cracked me up. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for me transforming myself into Jamie Genevieve. I feel like I look nothing like her, but we could try. And I just basically wanted to showcase, especially the new blushes, but all of her products. I think they're great quality. It's an aesthetic that I really enjoy. The only thing that I wish was different was, like, this is the only critique that I have is, I wish that there was better packing for shipping. Other than that, I'm impressed with everything else. I love it. So that's gonna be it for me for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, don't forget to Thumbs it up. Oh, we forgot to do this in the beginning. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it down. If you're hate watching, I see you. I see you. I'm gonna go with it. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it down. Subscribe if you are new. If you want to watch more of me and my sparkling personalities, there is a plethora of other videos. I will be back. I didn't get your guys' feedback in the live chat, but if you guys have feedback for me on like how you guys get notified, if you get notified like when I go live versus when I schedule it, whatever, because I would like to do like spur of the moment, like lives in the morning. Let me know if you guys would be into that. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, bye.